college. We're talking about euphoria, but um, what is today? Today's Friday. I'm at the car shop for Skylar. Waiting on her so we can go get some food. We're waiting on her to hurry up. Um, I'm feeling a lot better, but you know, my voice is still scratchy. I still have like that dry cough. Um, thankfully, I'm probably gonna be able to be on the radio tomorrow still, so that's good. Tomorrow is the first home game, so I will be vlogging that. I'm gonna go to some tailgates. Um, you know what was really hard for me, you guys? It's the fact that I was sick and it pushed back my filming schedule. So I was supposed to have like two videos filmed this week. I was supposed to have a trial haul filmed. I was supposed to have my bedroom tour filmed. And then I was going to do the apartment tour next. But, you know, honestly, hopefully I can do that by tomorrow. I feel like today I'm going to kind of like clean up and have it set and ready. So when I go to the radio station in the morning, all I have to do is come back and film that. And I can have that like ready to post on Sunday. I don't know. Like, I don't even, you know, count my words on this because I don't know. But that's the plan. That's what I'm going to try to do. Finally, she is coming back. <clears throat> And she looks pissed. So we're gonna go eat at Little Masters. Like I said, we are like regulars there. It's like my favorite place to go eat. I love Asian food. So tell them what we're here doing today. Uh, this, are we live? Yes, <laughs> this we are live. live. <laughs> we're live here at J School, my school. This is not the rest of the J School. I don't know how. My school, I'm J School, everybody. Yeah, here getting our photos yeah, and everything, getting yeah, right. I ain't get shot. They call me Blackie today. But we'll live to see another day. Yes. Photoshoot live and not make professional. You know, we gotta keep it professional and everything. Saturday morning show coming up tomorrow. You know, we always got the good topics. Real, real spicy with your girl. Okay, okay. <laughs> so before you widely say F them all, remember, America is always going to have a slave class and. If illegal or illegal immigrants won't be the lowest paid workers, then those in prisons will be, and that always ends up looking like one of their sons, so it circles back around. Mm, mm. A word. If you did not see this video of the Revolt Summit, go, please watch, go it. watch it. Please, please. go It's on YouTube. Please, please go yes. watch it. It's on Twitter. It's, yeah, it's on let Twitter. Me, it's everywhere. Let me just say this. I, I think this panel was amazing simply because mm. it showed how the African-American community reacts in three different aspects yep. mm -hmm. you have candace owens i will say candace owens is an intelligent woman but sometimes she doesn't really see things of how the african-american community feels on a regular basis exactly. so i feel like she uses it against us in a sense mm -hmm. then you have ti i hear what he's saying you know he means well but he acts out on emotions mm -hmm. and emotions only oh, but then you so have fine. killer mike so <laughs> you have killer mike who uses his knowledge. And that's why I love this video clip because he was so passionate. He said something that triggered everybody in the audience to get you to listen. And then he went on with his spill with the receipts and the facts. And that's yeah. how you got to act about it's things. Yeah. I definitely, um, when I was watching it, I was just like, especially the his part and T.I.'s part. I, I love T.I. I think that <laughs> T.I. is very educated as well. I think that his way of coming you know, talking to people, I think he talks to them in how he thinks that they're going to, like, understand what he's saying. Yeah. And so when he was talking to her, I think he thinks that she's ignorant and stupid. Yeah. So he talked to her as if she was ignorant exactly. and stupid. <laughs> and, like, that's just how it came, you know, that's just how he did it. So I appreciate the way that he, and like you said, them having th three different standpoints was beneficial for us to see, you know, kind of like the, the conservative and then you got, like, the angry black man black woman and then you got somebody who's kind of in the middle like okay well let me tell you what's really going on let me give right. you the real facts of what's really happening and then we can go back and talk about this but we can't do it with your ignorance yeah. and we can't do it with you yelling so we got to come together and have a real conversation and spit some facts so i definitely great interview great great panel all of that the vlog we are having brunch with the cast saturday morning <laughs> show after this, I'm going to go get my nails fixed because y'all... Oh my god, you're so That was so funny. Nine trade gangsta bloods. <laughs> Yeah.
Me too.